Hey guys, welcome to Everyday Family Adventure. I'm Trent. And I'm Siobhan. And this week, we spent time in Prince Edward Island. Island, and we're just about to cross the bridge here. If the trucks can do it, then you, you just focus on the road. I know. You tell everybody. Oh, I'm just super nervous. My heart is going like this right now. Why? Because it's so high, like we're going way and up above. And it's windy. And it's windy. There's trucks coming so they can do it, but when you're driving an RV, you have a high profile. And so and there were no, there are signs that say that you can't do this in high winds, but it says it's okay right now. I'm gonna have Siobhan share with you the stories about how we came to this and we've even heard it referred to as breadcrumbs like this is really really cool I want you to hear this story but I wanted to interject this before we get talking too much about it to say that the RVing lifestyle that we have lived has made it available for us to come in contact with these breadcrumbs or meet people in a new way that we never thought would be possible before. And I think that this story that you're about to hear is really cool. I, I think it's, I'll say too, I think it goes beyond the RV lifestyle. Now the RV lifestyle, we've, we've said this, it's just a vessel. It's the RV a vessel. is a vessel. But the, the heart behind it for us is we want to be available to God. And it's, it's that heart that opens the doors for us to follow the the little breadcrumbs sometimes god just leads us along a path with little breadcrumbs and i think of hansel and gretel and how they dropped the breadcrumbs so they would know where to to go back and and i think that god is like that he leaves breadcrumbs so that we don't lose our way and so that we can um, just follow in his path and so this journey of faith and how we came to prince edward island is is quite unique i mean prince edward island is like the home of Anne of Green Gables, which... Actually the home of the writer of Anne of the, Green Gables. Right, but I have now been saturated with so much Anne of Green Gables. I might have Siobhan. made him like have a Anne of Green Gables <laughs> marathon. He didn't yeah. know that the movies were all like three they hours. They so long. <laughs> I mean, I'm just thinking that if I do this and watch this with her, then she'll watch all of the Rockies with me too. Anyway, so yes, the whole the whole like way we got to Prince Edward Island is is one of those stories where we're just following a path that that God gave us, and many of you know that we're going to be going to YWAM in September um, in Kona, Hawaii, and the the whole journey for that actually began this time last year um, when God just began placing little breadcrumbs. And we we're like, what is this? What is this Hawaii thing? In September, and we can, we'll point that video to you too. Yeah, um, and it was, it was just very strange because um, living this faith journey is kind of a new thing for us. We've always done things by what seems practical and, and uh, what makes sense. And sometimes what God wants you to do just doesn't make sense. And so we began getting these little hints about Hawaii and right near the beginning of it, one of those was uh, a profile that I just 
ran across. I hope the kids aren't being <laughs> too loud. They're having so playing. much fun. <laughs> They're pretending. It's the two little ones. They're pretending. So, um, but anyways, so I had ran across a Facebook profile in my explore feed. I was just randomly most. It's mostly all traveling channels and stuff that that get thrown in there for me because I just love to look at photos and um, just dream about traveling like some of those people who travel the world and take photos and stuff but I, I saw a particular photo that caught my eye and when I clicked on it the channel name was Our Daily Faith and I was like oh wonder what that's all about you know because me you know I'm a Christian and that sounds like somebody who has faith like me so I clicked on it. I began reading some of the descriptions in their photos. When I found them, they had either just arrived or they were about to go to Hawaii. They basically said that God separately, it's a husband and wife and they have two children, but separately God had told each of them that they were supposed to go to Hawaii and they had no idea why. They had no idea what for, um, but they decided to just jump in. And sometimes that's how faith is. Sometimes. God gives you a big fat breadcrumb <laughs> that seems like it doesn't make sense and it, it leads down a, a little rabbit trail that doesn't make sense to the path that you're on right now. But the Bible says that He leads us in paths of righteousness for His name's sake and sometimes He asks you to veer off the path that you're on in order to fulfill His plan for you and to bring glory to him and so they just jumped off of the path that they were on and flew all the way from Prince Edward Island to Hawaii which is not close and um, and while they were there they were on another island they were not on the big island where YWAM is but somebody had said something to them about the YWAM base on Big Island and I had messaged and said are you guys going to YWAM because, um, you know, if you're called to, if God calls you to Hawaii, it must have to do with YWAM. I don't know. Um, well, I think at the time we were inquiring in our hearts about it, too. Yeah. And that was it. We, we had no curious. idea. You know, just a few weeks before that, we didn't even know that there really was a base in Hawaii. Right. We it were in a, the place where, I remember this specifically, we were in the place that we were looking, we had just found out about it, and we had said gee that's that's a fortune like we there's no way we could do that and at the same time we she came across this our daily faith and she said that would be really unusual if we came across somebody who's praying about that and might be doing that too yeah yeah it was just it was very odd to me it was just totally a stumbling upon But anyway, so they did end up going down to YWAM on the Big Island, and and so we, you know, we just made a connection on Instagram and started keeping up with one another and praying with one another, and um, you know, then in January we decided to finally apply for the school. We felt that God had left enough breadcrumbs in our path that we better follow it. You know, because yep. if you get off of the path, you get lost. And we don't want to be lost. We don't want to wander around in this journey. And as much as we've loved this RVing lifestyle over the last two and a half years, um, we thought, you know, if we're not malleable and, and fluid, then we're not truly available to God, which is what we've always wanted to be. Right. Um, so to say, okay, God, we're going to take a break in this or, or set it aside, we, you know, we weren't really saying one way or other to God, but, um, but he was just asking us to go. And so we decided to apply and took several months and we finally got accepted. And then we found out that Phil and Adelie, um, were also applying to go back and do DTS and so they're going to be doing their DTS the same time as us um, at the end of September and 
So we were really excited to be able to go up to Prince Edward Island and finally meet this family that God gave us uh, an amazing connection with and we were able to help them get some moving done because they also sold their house and most of their stuff and they're they're just jumping into this journey with God too and and just trusting that he's going to lead them. Well, and some of the things that you, as far as the connection, like, like she said, like, we didn't know that they were from Prince Edward Island mm -hmm. for a long, long time. I thought they were from California for some reason. It wasn't until why. we had posted our schedule, understand, like, they're in Hawaii. So it wasn't until we posted our East Coast tour schedule this past spring mm -hmm. that... And we were on Skype with them and they had said Prince Edward Island and we both looked at each other and we're like, we're going to be in Maine. And we had yeah. talked about going up into Canada, but really hadn't had any, you know, definite destination there. And the church that they go to was just amazing. Just yeah. such a blessing. Uh, uh, awesome people. And, uh, you know, this does go along with that faith journey. I think that we needed it just as much as they needed it. They just happened to be yeah. coming home at that time. So we were able to meet them and help them move. But we also met up with another family who goes to the church who had just last year taken their whole family to a missions trip in Mozambique where, I mean, this was a huge encouragement to us because I've already said it, like one of the struggles that we had right away with doing this DTS in, in Kona, Hawaii was the finances. It's really expensive to take a family of seven overseas and do a missions trip and do the training and and all of that and, and honestly like some of you have made mention to us very kindly thank you that maybe we're not called to do this because it's too expensive and maybe we're not listening to God and maybe it's our own selfish ambition and you know I just kindly say that to you if any of you know us at all if anybody knows me at all from the bottom of my heart I would never make that decision like that would be the most foolish thing because in my own strength, I could never afford that. And, and I admit that there's times where I wrestle with that struggle of like, God, are we just putting ourselves out there to look like fools or did you really call us? But we believe that he has called us. We know that he has called us and, and we know he's gonna do it. Like this is where we say, God, we put our trust in you. And we were just struggling with that that day and we met this family who had dinner with them and they laid out before us this this like map where they wrote down how much money they needed to raise to go on this big to go on this big trip with their family to Mozambique with Heidi Baker and and it was it was like, a lot it was the same amount of it money was the that same we amount have of to money raise. that we have to raise like almost almost the same exact amount in about the same amount of time and yeah. so it just lifted our faith so much and it was just so cool to be a part of that guys and, yeah their and, story was so encouraging too because she said 
that they they honestly were so worried that they didn't know how they were going to raise all this money but they laid it out there before the children and they made this chart so that the kids could see how faithful God is and and they even tried to do some little fundraisers and their fundraisers just completely flopped and they, <laughs> they she said they actually lost money on their fundraisers and she said it wasn't until she just stepped back and said okay God you provide yeah. she said like they were getting checks in the mail and well it's and just it was, such a it was know, such an encouragement amazing. to us because we had said like that's we want to be like that too we don't we don't use this channel as a way to say hey give us money give us yeah. money we use this channel to encourage you guys who are struggling with lord i want to do something but i can't because yeah. insert your struggle but god says like no, if I am God, then I will provide. Like, that's huge. Mm -hmm. Like, that's a huge leap of faith. And well, that's... it's like our friend's channel, you know, our friends that we met up in, in Prince Edward Island, our daily faith. Right. It's a daily faith journey. And we want to invite you guys on a daily faith journey with God because He will never leave you or forsake you. Yeah. And if He's asking you to do something big, or step out on the water like he asked Peter to do, you know, he's going to equip you and he's going to provide everything you need. Right. So we mm -hmm. want to tell you uh, to go check out, they do have a podcast that they just yes. started. And it's so good, guys. It's called Our Daily Faith. So yeah. we'll point you to that direction. Yeah. And uh, we also want to finish this vlog today and, and just say, yeah, this was a little bit more talking head, but we wanted to tell the story. Next time we'll be posting on how we took the ferry with our RV from Prince Edward Island to Nova Scotia and all the fun we had in Nova Scotia. Yes. So we invite you guys that to that. That was an adventure, taking our <laughs> RV on Yeah, a ferry. we'll talk all about that. What a crazy adventure. Mm -hmm. But really cool. Uh, guys, we're having lots of fun and uh, we'll see you guys. We have our West, or we ha I guess our, our, our cross-country road trip posted and, uh, and you can find all that information on our Patreon channel. Anything else we need to tell them? Oh gosh. I don't think so. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for much so much for being part of the channel and we want to encourage you to live the best life you ever can. So remember, we can make the world better. I believe we can. Bye guys. <laughs>